Hey Robert, this is Larry Powell, Circle P Marketing. Uh, I just wanted to get this quick screencast over to you. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a quick website audit, kind of go over what I'm seeing for your site, any recommendations I have for you. Um, we're going to look at some high search volume keywords that I think could generate a lot of traffic to coming to your guys' website if you're in the top spot for them. Um, and then we'll look at what the competition is for those and what you guys have to do to pass them up. Um, so looking at your guys' website, I really do like the layout. Um, it's a well-built site. A um, couple recommendations I do have for it though. Um, first one is content. Um, so there was a recent study done by Google where they looked at over a million different websites across multiple niches. Um, looked at all the top ranked sites for these niches. Um, and they found from this that the top ranked sites all had at least 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on this homepage. Um, so that's, that's really going to be the key or, or one of the keys um to getting you guys into these top spots is increasing the amount of content you do have on this home page um and then also with that content uh, make sure you're really optimizing it out to include some of these high search volume keywords that i'm going to go over here shortly um so where people or so our google knows um you are trying to rank for these keywords and when people are searching for these keywords they know that you guys are relevant to this search um, and you guys should be showed in those search results um, the other thing that I think you guys should do for this website, um, you have your contact form here or your click, um, for your contact form, but actually putting a contact form on this homepage can really help you guys out. Um, primarily because people are looking for the easy route or the path, path of least resistance. Um, so the easier you can make it for people to get a hold of you guys, the better. Um, so putting your contact form actually on this homepage would really help you guys out with your conversions once people do get to your website. Um, the last thing I noticed is you guys have your or your phone number here, um, which it is click to call, which is fantastic. A lot of people are doing mobile searches these days, um, so having that click to call is is very critical. Um, but having that phone number a couple other times throughout here to where it's still the click to call, uh, I think would also help you guys out with your conversions once people are going to your website. Um, so looking at keywords, um, there's actually a lot of high search volume keywords. Um, related to remodeling for San Antonio. Um, so remodeling San Antonio is currently getting 300 searches per month. Um, home remodeling um, San Antonio is 250. Um, remodeling contractors San Antonio is 200. Bath and remodeling San Antonio, Texas is 200. Um, so there's a lot of search volume, um, a lot of potential for your guys' business in this market. Um, being in the top spot for these keywords, you can usually figure to be getting about 33% of that search volume. Um, so if you were to get to the top spot for just remodeling San Antonio, um, you'd be getting about 100 searches per month going to your website just for that one keyword. Um, and there's a lot more keywords here with a lot of search volume. So you really have the ability to generate a lot of traffic heading towards your guys' website. Um, looking at remodeling San Antonio and Google, um, I'm going to give you a quick rundown here just to make sure everybody knows how to use Google, uh, but not everybody fully understands what you're seeing with Google. Um, so this is called the GMB, um, the three pack, Google, Google my Mac or Google my business, um, a couple of different names for it. Um, so getting your website into this is, is very valuable. Um, again, because people are doing mobile search. Um, so having your business in here where people can click to call to get to your business is awesome. Um, and not only that, but it's also just another another spot on this homepage um, where you're taking up real estate and it's more opportunities for people to click on your business over that of your competitors. Um, so there's a couple different factors in how you can get your business into this. Um, one of them is called citations. Um, citations is your business name, address, and phone number uh, mentioned on the web. Uh, a place you can get a citation would be um, like a yellow book or Yelp. Um, these are examples of these citations. Um, where you're able to go out there and get those for free. Um, they're just time consuming to do. Um, the next thing for how you guys can get into this is your organic rankings. Um, so where your business sits organically within the search results. Um, you guys are currently sitting at 19th um, for this search term. So I'm moving you guys up and organically, uh, moving you guys up towards that top spot would be another factor in how you can get into this three pack. Um, the last one, looking at your guys' GMB, um, the last one is actually your description you have on here. Um, you actually have a really nice description. It's, there's a lot more to it than what you usually see. Um, usually you get just a couple sentences, so this is perfect. You actually have this developed, and you can tell you put some time into it. 
Um, my one recommendation for this would actually be to include some of those high search volume keywords in this description. Um, so when people are searching for those, Google knows that you guys um, are relevant to that search term and they'll pull you guys up in those searches as well. Um, so that'd be my last recommendation for how you can get into that map pack. Um, for how you get your business to move up organically, um, we already kind of talked about the content and how that has a lot of importance. Um, the other thing is what's called backlinks. Um, so we're going to head back over to AREFs and what AREFs is really cool for is because it also allows me to see the back end of websites. Um, so what I'm looking for here is backlinks and referring domains. Um, and the best way to explain what a backlink is, is it's kind of like a high school popularity contest. Um, so you have the most popular kid in school or site A and you have the least popular kid in school and we'll call him site B. And the most popular kid in school is going to link himself to site B. Um, and in turn, it's going to bring up the popularity of site B. Um, and then Google is going to think, okay, this is more popular. Um, let's move them up in the rankings. So what you're looking for on these is do follow, which means you're getting that backlink juice or popularity coming back to your website. Um, also with these backlinks, as you're going out there and trying to find backlink sources, uh, making sure they're niche relevant. So they're, you know, relevant to the home remodel, home improvement industry. Um, getting a backlink on a site that is like a shopping website or something that sells clothes. Um, it's just not going to have that relevancy and it's not going to help you guys move up in the rankings as fast. Um, looking at your competition, the top ranked is statewide remodeling. Um, they do have a nice site. You know, it's very comparable to your guys's as far as, you know, kind of the layout. Um, content wise, they might have just a little bit more, but they're still well below that 1500 to 2000 words that you really need to shoot for. Um, looking at the metrics on theirs. Um, they do have a lot more going on for backlinks and referring domains, um, but they still only have 179 do follow referring domains. So that's definitely a number that you, you could pass up if you put some work into this um, and get into those top spots. So, I mean, currently their website, they're getting a lot of organic traffic every month. Um, so there's a lot of potential for you um, and, and moving up and getting a lot of business headed to you guys. Um, if you have any questions on this, definitely reach out. Love to talk to you more. Thank you.